The buoy tent salmon fishery is the region's biggest show. There's a fish. I think it's hatchery, but I think it's a tule, a lower river spawner, so we're gonna let it go. Each day, hundreds of boats carrying thousands of anglers catch salmon. There he goes. But not everyone comes to fish. Rick! Brad Baker, how are you, sir? Good, how are you doing, Brad? Buoy 10 has always been my art gallery or my showroom, because this time of year, there's so many guides and customers down here that I've wrapped boats over the years, and it's kind of neat running into them. Brad Baker is an artist and angler who enjoys the best of both worlds. He travels the West from Baja to Alaska, casting lines for fun and helping boat owners build a brand. It protects the boat for one, um, advertisement for the guide service. I get phone calls off of it, and you know, when you're catching fish and people see that, I think it, it's, it's good for the business. I think we've got another one over here. Do you have a hand in designing? A little bit, it's mainly Brad. If you give him a concept, he'll, he'll point it out. Baker is the rapper who designs and installs creative boat boards that make a statement about the owner. So this uh, gives you just a little overview of how I create some of these designs. For more than two decades, Baker has created colorful backgrounds, imaginative overlays, and supersized fonts to satisfy the growing fish guiding business. Baker is a rapper who really knows his beat. I don't always remember the names, but I remember the raps. Sometimes I forget how long ago I did the rap, and I'll think it's been 10 years, and it's been, you know, 15 years. I mean, some of these raps I put on these boats are still on from 20 years ago, believe it or not. From computer to printer, a special 3M vinyl protects against sunlight and salt air and puncture. It's fantastic material. It really revolutionized uh, the whole wrapping industry. The pressure activated adhesive seals the bond with the boat. There's little micro beads of adhesion that rupture and that releases adhesive and then it begins to stick to the surface. Baker's a Portland kid whose love affair with fishing opened the outdoors. His mom was an artist so drawing and painting came easy. And then I went to art school in New York City and for uh, fine art and graphic design and illustration. Baker says each wrap means hours, even days, filled with design, printing, and application. Yeah, this is, uh, this is what I do. Everything from scratch. Trial and error, sometimes, you know, as I was getting into it, I learned the hard way. I remember one of my first wraps I did, I did it outside and had the whole thing on the boat, and I started to squeeze it down, and a big gust of wind came, and the whole thing flew right off the boat. Baker has wrapped more than 2,000 boats, so he's a well-known figure in the Bowie 10 Mecca. They want the boat to look great. They want to be able to be on the water and have people notice them and say, wow, look at that wrap. That guide must know what they're doing. They must have their A game on the water. Do wraps catch more fish? Yeah, I always tell my customers that every wrap comes with fishing mojo and they can expect to catch way more fish. Sometimes it works. <laughs> but it's my selling point. Yeah, the wrap's free, but the fishing mojo is very expensive. That's what you're paying for. Along the lower Columbia River with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.